Hey, my famous fans, hold on to your tea because it looks like Meghan Markle has hit yet another bump on the road to brand glory. The Duchess of Sussex, who's been tirelessly working on her American Riviera Orchard lifestyle brand, is facing a fresh wave of drama. And honestly, are we even surprised at this point? Get ready for the latest installment of the saga that is Meghan's life as she tries to launch her new venture, because of course it couldn't be smooth sailing. It never is, right? So what's the latest scandal, you ask? Well, brace yourselves because it all comes down to a tiny detail that has set the US. Patent and trademark office you spill off in a tizzy. Yep, you heard that right. Megan's attempt to trademark her American Riviera Orchard brand has hit a major snag and it all boils down to a letter. That's right, folks, the letter O in her logo has caused all kinds of headaches and it's left the Duchess scrambling for a plan B. Oh, the irony. According to reports, the USPTO has called out Megan's team, claiming that the description of her brand's logo is, well, let's just say a little off. Apparently, the logo shows an O, but the USPO is having trouble recognizing it as an actual letter. In fact, they've officially said it's so highly stylized, it's unrecognizable. Oops, looks like Megan might have to go back to the drawing board to sort this one out. The US Patent Office isn't messing around and they've demanded that the description of the logo be spot on, accurate and most importantly recognizable. So is this another chapter in the Marco hustle or a misstep that could cost her big? It doesn't stop there, my famous fans. In true bureaucratic fashion, the US Peel didn't just stop at nitpicking the oh oh no, they went full throttle. They even pointed out that her team had totally missed describing other elements in the mark. Yeah, it's not just the O in question here. Apparently, the entire insignia needs a redo. The octagonal design, the overlapping letters R and the looping lines. The office was like, nope, not enough detail. And let's not forget that cute little stylized flower topping the letter yes. Even that needs more explanation. It's like they're saying, Megan, honey, if you want to play in the big leagues, you've got to get the details right. But wait, there's more. Because, of course, this wouldn't be a Meghan Markle story without another wrinkle in the plot, right? Before this logo disaster, the poor Duchess had already been slapped with another rejection. Turns out the name American Riviera can't be trademarked either. Why? Because you can't trademark geographic locations. Ouch. The USPO basically said, sorry, Meghan, Montecito's lovely and all, but you can't own the nickname even if you live there. I guess the California sun isn't shining too brightly on her business plans these days. Now, it's no secret that Megan's team has been thrown into a bit of a frenzy. According to inside sources, they're scrambling for new ideas and they might even have to change the entire brand name. Yes, you heard me right. A complete name overhaul could be on the horizon. And if that sounds drastic, well, you're not wrong. It's giving serious deja vu to Kim Kardashian's infamous shapewear brand drama when she had to ditch the name Kimono after public backlash. But hey, if Kim K can bounce back stronger than ever with skims, maybe Megan can take a page out of her book, right? But don't get it twisted, folks. The clock is ticking and every second counts when it comes to branding. Changing a name this late in the game could be a costly move for Megan. No doubt about it. All those products, jellies, jams, spreads and tableware will need new branding and that's no small feat. But if there's one thing we know about Megan Markle is that she's not one to back down from a challenge. Sure, it might cost a fortune, but when you're a duchess trying to build an empire, what's a little extra expense, right? Speaking of that empire, let's take a quick trip down memory lane. Megan first launched her American Riviera Orchard brand back in March, making big promises about what her lifestyle company would bring to the table literally. We're talking edible goodies like jams, jellies and spreads, along with fancy tableware essentials like linens, cutlery and drinkware. Let's be real here. Meghan and Harry have had their fair share of public missteps, from the Sussex Royal brand Fallout to Netflix documentaries that left the internet divided. But despite all the setbacks, they keep pushing forward. Is this latest trademark roadblock just another hiccup on Meghan's road to entrepreneurial stardom? Or is it a sign that the American Riviera Orchard dream might need a serious revamp? All right, famous fans, what do you think? Will Megan bounce back from this latest branding blunder? Or is the American Riviera Orchard dream starting to sour? Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. 
You're tuned into Famous Faces Scoop TV, where there's never a dull moment. Bizu, bizu.